What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPE series. In this quick episode, we'll be fixing some issue that was left from the last episode uh, for the IK. So if I use where to press play, you can see that everything works, of course, as with the last video, we can work with our IK, as you can see in the ground, but when we attack, <laughs> the animations are broken. Well, only the feet part, of course, and the same with the motion warping, and uh, you get the idea, right? Except jumping and stuff. Um, so, thank you for one of my Discord members who actually found the issue and also found a solution. So, thank you a lot, Quizzy. Um, so, let's go ahead and integrate this solution real quick. So, let's go into our character, RP character animations, and AVP RP character. Of course, this is an animation blueprint. So, basically, in the last episode, we added this control rig and basically had this uh, class with the CR mannequin basic foot IK which already came uh, with the third person template right so let's go ahead and double click this and it will open up our basic foot IK and you can see that we had you know the interpolations foot traces and stuff basically we have to make two small modifications into this the first thing I want to do is change the sequence from this one being deprecated, which is the old one it seems like, um, to a new one. So we can just right click and go into upgrade node. And this we just put it into the normal sequence that we use on our daily basis in blueprints. And another thing that we have to do now is add a pre-step over here that will basically just initialize the animation. So what we're going to do is add a new pin and then go ahead and just pass all the, all the ones so basically this new pin will be the first one, you, if you get an idea. So basically the A, uh, we're gonna move it into nothing. So you just press Alt and then left click and we just disconnect it. And then the B will go into the new one, which will we just put it in this connection here. Then the uh, C will go into this one. Then the D will go into this one. And then the E will go into, the last, into this last one. So let's get our first spin and just do set transform and we'll have this set transform node. We can just click it and we'll have this set transform bone. So on here, what we want to do is now pass the initial value of the transform. So in the value, we can just go ahead and say get transform and find this other node and just put it over here. So basically we want to place our, um, our foot over here. So in the type selected on bone, let's find our foot and let's start with the left one. So literally the one you say is foot all. L, sorry, <laughs> all no, L. All right, and now we can spot this over here. All right, we can make it pretty later. Uh, but now if we expand the item, we need to also select the bone in which we are setting the transform. In this case, it will be the IK foot L. And with that, we are ready, but we have to do it with the other one. So copy, paste this to notes, put over here. And then for this one, this will be the foot R. For the right foot and then here this will be the ik foot r for the right foot and now let's put this a bit more into the right we can just double click to make a nice pin so everything is uh, nice and organized we can just put this bit down and then we can just align this a bit better there we go and then select everything press c and then this is pre step okay so again thanks for quizzy for coming up with the solution really um so now we can just go ahead and compile and save and you'll see that when we press play our IK, well, let me just get the, rid of the enemy for for this section here. All right, so now you will see that the IK will still work perfectly, as you can see. But when we attack, everything will be fine. And also, when we go and stop attacking, uh, motion warp. Now, you will see that there's a bit of a shake going on with the motion warp. Basically, there's a quick fix into it. And as we go back into our RPE character, we can see that we had a trace for when we are basically not falling you know so we're gonna do the same but with not uh, warping so let's go ahead and create a new um variable it will be is warping and in this case we can just press enter we can just put this here and then put an and node now of course it has to be if it's not warping so not boolean and then put this here and then set the Q and then basically this one will go into the bottom one and this one into the top one and then this one in here. So basically if we are not warping uh, and not uh, falling basically we'll be doing the trace. So by default everything will be normal right as you can see. 
so now we have to actually set the variable so let's go into our third person blueprint which is right over here let's open this up and now let's create a new uh, variable for it which actually i think we have uh no we don't have is balding okay i thought we had one okay just go ahead and create a new one is balding and then we can just go when we vault and set it uh, so we can just go into the motion warp and here when we start we vault right so there's our thing with all the calculations and stuff but let's go actually here and if we can warp let's just put this here so really let's put this here it's vaulting set to be true and then when we go ahead and land on completed we will set it back to false because now we will not be vaulting anymore great so now compile and save go on press play and now when we vault you will see that the thing should not happen now it is actually happening a bit at the at the end point so what we're going to do is just add a small delay so we can basically make sure that the animation will finish so i think point two we'll do this trick and now this should work so there you go all right so with that said we can now go ahead and uh, leave this episode here so in the next episode we'll go ahead and continue with the ai okay so uh, basically finishing off what we were doing and we can start with the boss which i'm pretty excited for and then we can just do a simple distraction like just throwing something and then doing some simple civilian walking and now we can move on into the missions and objective system which i'm you know the quest and everything which i'm pretty excited so if you enjoyed this tutorial i would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel uh like and subscribe to the video and get my discord server and now yes well i said bye bye